Life is full of moments. Some we will always remember. Others we will spend a lifetime trying to forget. But it is in these moments we find out who we are and who we were created to be. My name is Ashley. This is my story. On March 11th, 2011, I was made a widow by two shots of a gun. That night, I came head to head with many realities. I had five children, the youngest not quite two months old, who no longer had a father. I had to continue living in a world that was now full of fear. And I had to face the fact that my husband was killed for sleeping with another man's wife. But most of all, I had to face the reality that I wasn't enough. I wasn't enough for that gun or that man or the other woman. But even worse, my husband didn't die fighting for me. He died fighting for her. Anger filled my soul even more than the pain. Hatred beckoned me to believe the lies that now had me face to face. I was humiliated that the world heard the truth in the same moment I had. I was scared I was no longer lovable, but the biggest battle was the journey to forgive. For two years, I tried to sweep my pain under a rug and pretend I wasn't dying inside, but I was broken. I waited for the murder trial to bring me the peace I craved. As the trial ended and nothing changed for me, I realized my journey to heal had just begun. In January 2014, a blog was born. After much inspiration that healing could come for me, I began to write. At first, I thought it would just be a log of all the wrong that had been done to me. But as the words filled the screen, I was finally blessed to see. To forgive is to set a prisoner free and realize the prisoner was you. My journey to find peace had just begun, and it continues on today. Hate, bitterness, anger, fear, those are the things holding us back in our lives, not the past. Everyone has a story, but it is up to each of us individually to write how it is going to end. Don't let your fear of losing in life stop you from living it. My name is Ashley. I am a survivor of infidelity and murder. And I choose to stand. Please join us October 23rd and 24th. A Reason to Stand. A conference offering hope and peace for anyone who has ever felt broken.